I'm feeling absolutely gutted. I started raising my voice for children's health back when I was just 14 years old. And by the looks of things, I could be way into my adult life by the time any action is taken. This U-turn is a huge betrayal of the promises the Prime Minister has made to young people like me, to all of you, to people who've emailed the MP, the Health Secretary and taken action to end junk food advertising. Day to day, I feel like I'm being bombarded with junk food ads on my phone, my computer. It's overwhelming. They're everywhere, popping up when I'm trying to watch videos, when I'm gaming with my friends. And we don't have an escape, especially not the moment when we're living life on our screens. I can tell you it's overwhelming and me and other young people were counting on this policy that Boris brought. This policy was going to protect me and my friends and was an important step towards a healthier future. But that's what Boris has stopped. He's let me down. This policy is devastating because the health of one in three children is already at risk from the food that they eat. Today's announcement stops anything we're doing to hold food accountable. So my question really is, when will we finally protect children's health? And with regards to promotions, I don't understand why our government does not listen to the science. Junk food promotions don't protect or save people's money. They're bad for your health and they're bad for your wallet. Evidence literally shows that they increase what people intended to spend by 22%. So anyone who paints a picture otherwise and says it's to protect a cost of living crisis is politicising children and their health. I mean, it baffles me. I don't understand why people won't hear that. We're not giving up. And if Boris thinks we're going to be quiet, then he's wrong. We're not going to be defeated. We're stronger than this. We're going to keep calling on this government to protect children's health. I'm not going away because every child has a right to their health. Mr. Prime Minister, my message to you. Are you going to come down on the side of young people and protect us? Or are you more concerned about your own political future, the big businesses profiting from food that harms our health? Because if I had one word to describe you, Prime Minister, it'd be weak. Failing to protect the health of our nation's children, your nation's children. We can't let this issue get kicked into the long grass and abandon another generation of young people into poor health. It's time to stand firm, now. There's still time to change the outcome. Please, Boris, remain steady and strong on your promise to us.